carbon dioxide in the atmosphere traps the sun's heat. The more CO2 there is, the warmer and wetter the Earth's climate becomes. For millions of years, levels in the atmosphere stayed below 300 parts per million. But in the last 200 years, the burning of fossil fuels has seen those levels rise at an increasingly rapid rate. Well, the laboratory in Hawaii started tracking atmospheric levels of carbon dioxide in 1958. Then there were 316 parts per million. This red sawtooth line shows the annual fluctuations, but the overall direction is clear. 55 years later, those levels have now peaked at over 400 parts per million. No one, I think, can be uh, aware of what's going on and think that we are going to avoid serious and probably dangerous climate change in the future. We have to get ready for that. Last September, the Arctic ice cap shrunk to a record low. At the same time, Greenland's massive ice sheet also experienced unprecedented melt. Stronger than normal storms and droughts in a number of countries were also attributed to global warming. We're hitting the planet in a very, very dangerous way. And I just hope a headline like 400 parts per million just might trigger a little bit of shock in people because you should be shocked. What are we doing? For the last 20 years, scientists, governments and businesses have been talking about reducing greenhouse gas emissions, including carbon dioxide. But few countries have made any meaningful changes. That conversation has been going on now for uh, several decades and what we see looking at the atmosphere is really no change in the behavior with this accelerating rise. Although we haven't made a whole lot of difference yet, the technologies we've started to develop by trying to do something are actually what we're going to need to do a lot. New green technology may help. But without drastic reductions in the burning of fossil fuels, carbon dioxide in the atmosphere will keep rising resulting in increasingly extreme weather and climate change in the years ahead. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera.